A ball of fire lit up the skies of Texas and even the Midwest last night as a meteor streaked through the atmosphere. Talk about a lot of calls here in the newsroom. A lot of people were lucky enough to see the red, orange, and sometimes green ball and sparks. And if you didn't, well, we've got you covered with lots of pictures. New Street's Clay Falls talked to an A&M astronomer to find out why this celestial event was a rare sight to see. It wasn't a UFO, but a pretty spectacular meteor seen from the Brazos Valley to Kansas for a few brief seconds Wednesday night. It looked like a sparkler almost. Lisa Coleman witnessed the space spectacle from her driveway in North Bryan. There was just this huge meteor-like um, rock falling across the sky, and I thought, wow, that's really huge to be a shooting star, but it lasted for about 12 to 15 seconds and it um, had a sparkling, flaring tail. Dash camera video from a police car even caught the mysterious meteor just near Temple. It turns out there's a lot of meteorite myths out there. Texas A&M astronomy professor Nicholas Sunziff tells us what was high in the sky was likely only about the size of your fist. If they do hit the Earth, they're not hot, they're cold. They, they come in very quickly, but because they're so cold in space, there is the fire around them, but that's like ins it produces insulation, and the meteor itself remains cold, and so it will not, almost never produce a fire when it hits the Earth. Professor Sunset says this type of meteorite is so rare, most people will probably never see one in their lifetime. Bolide meteors, like the one Wednesday night, are extremely bright. Usually it's just a fraction of a second. Here it was like five seconds or so. And again, I've only seen a few of those in my life. I wish I'd seen it. I just count myself very lucky that I got to see something like that, and I was just really wondering what it was. Where the meteorite ended up is not known, and there have been no reports of damage in Texas. In College Station, Clay Falls, News 3. Now we're told meteors like this, or meteorites, depending on whether it hit the ground, can typically travel 15 miles per second. Now it turns out the sighting also happened on the ninth anniversary of the Columbia disaster when the space shuttle broke up over parts of East Texas.